Brown and the Sanborn Seed Bed Survey Team, and we are continuing our exploration of teaching methodologies with respect to middle schoolers. So let's talk about social studies. So in social studies, children in this age group, they are um, learning about um, history and geography. They're learning about battles and conquests. They're learning about um, how the division of territories has changed in Europe and whatnot. And um, we can apply this in, um, in games, although middle schoolers are not a fan of games, as I said, but um, one popular sport that starts at middle school is rowing. And so um, you can sort of uh, maybe try to incorporate the history lesson and, you know, talk about rowing. You know, maybe Lewis and Clark, um, they were rowing. And, um, and to just to sort of switch it up and make sure everyone is paying attention, you can um, make the game that they need to row in unison. So you can say forward and then back. And then, um, you know, if somebody doesn't do the forward or back, um, it's a little bit like freeze dance, like, oh my gosh, um, gotcha. You know, they don't necessarily need to be out. You can make it non-competitive. Um, but, um, you know, it just gets them moving in a rhythm. And for the children that are having a little bit of trouble learning history, sometimes that movement is just enough to um, help quiet their um, body, let them burn off a little energy, so then they can really absorb some of that academic material. Thank you for your time.